Hello guys and welcome to How to Tech. Chat GPT has been literally everywhere. It has been the big talk of the town and everyone is nowadays using Chat GPT. Right now, the main thing that limits Chat GPT, I would say, is inputting images, right? So you do not have too much images that you can go ahead and interact with Chat GPT, but that is going to change pretty soon because Microsoft is about to unveil its visual Chat GPT. So what is it all about? Let's have the AI read out this article for you and, and then we can quickly go to GitHub and find out what all you can do with the visual Chat GPT. So let's get started. Microsoft unveils visual Chat GPT, a Chat GPT for images. This connection enables sending messages through chat and receiving images during the chat while also injecting a series of visual model prompts to edit the images as well. Listen to this story. Microsoft recently unveiled a new model called Visual Chat GPT, which incorporates different types of visual foundation models, VFMs, including transformers, control net, and stable diffusion with Chat GPT. The system enables interaction with Chat GPT beyond language. This connection enables sending messages through chat and receiving images during the chat, while also injecting a series of visual model prompts to edit the images as well. Click here to check out the GitHub repository. So that's about it. I'll be giving the link for this GitHub repository as well in the description. Go check that out. So right now, as soon as I click on the GitHub, it actually redirects me to this particular link and it clearly says Microsoft slash visual chat GPT. So these are the list of files to, to actually install this particular thing. You need to have python enabled in your machine so you can go ahead and download anaconda and after that there is this quick start section you have to create a new environment and then activate it in all these steps you have to follow right so these are so much for the technical stuff that we are going to have in this visual chat gpt but as of now let's go to the fun part so this is sort of the fun part that i could make out of the chat gpt so actually let's go ahead and dive into assets folder and there will be something called demo gif so if you click on the demo gif i'll be actually uh, downloading this so this is what you can do you say could you generate a cat for me and it generates a cat for you through this prompt and then you say could you replace the cat to a dog and remove the book it does exactly the same it replaces the cat with the dog removes the book so you can see how interactive things are going to get with this particular visual chat gpt okay and now you can just tell chat gpt you remove the generate the canny edge of this image and it will give you the canny edge now you're asking it to generate a yellow dog right based on and then you're able to give the image png so based on this particular image png it gave you that particular yellow dog so again one more example over here what color is the motorcycle so it says the motorcycle is black now you are saying on the fly can you remove the could you remove the motorcycle and it has actually removed the motorcycle right so guys these are the fun things that you can do with the uh, visual chat gpt i just wanted to show you uh, before it comes up out live in production probably uh, by microsoft it will be probably soon integrating the visual chat gpt with the chat, chat gpt capabilities as well so this is this is a huge progress right it's 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 just taking you leaps and bounds and you can go ahead and experiment with these images and do whatever things using a particular image on the fly right so what happens with mid journey is we just give an prompt and wait for our image but using visual chat gpt it takes you one more step further right because you can go ahead and edit the image on the fly you can remove objects and you can change objects and whatever uh, you feel like your image should be you can go ahead and give those particular prompts and change the image output to your liking so uh, so i hope that you like this video and i'll be giving you the link to this particular repository as well as the link to this article so that you can go ahead and have a look 
on your own so guys if you're liking my content do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments related to visual chat gpt do let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to help until the next time we meet uh, keep creating and happy ai bye bye